making yourself a better football program. And look overall, and when you look at recruiting, you look at, um, I think overall, is, is improving your roster. And it's all about roster management, getting the best players you can. And uh, when you can go back through like who we traveled on the road with week, you know, week one, uh, or the first road trip back in 2016, and look at 17, 18, 19, and you know the one thing I noticed just as, as a head football coach, and you try to you know narrow your 72 roster. We're allowed to bring 72 on the road uh, for for an away game. Uh, we're allowed to bring 85 to the uh, the ACC championship game. But what you've noticed through the years is that it's harder and harder to pick that 72 because you've you've got a roster of players. Uh, the management of that roster has been you know I think you know just you know really you know we've done a great job I think you know with the recruiting office and. And just getting, you know, just a better quality uh, athlete here at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, and, you know, I, I wouldn't go through names or anything else like that. You just notice it as you're, you know, going through it. So I think we, you know, each year we've kind of improved our depth. And I think that's a reason why we were in a championship game. It's not about having the best players and, and maybe, you know, some guys down here. It's about having, you know, just quality from top to bottom on your depth chart. That's, you know, that's what we're trying to do. And, Sometimes those average Turk players turn into great players that, you know, five star may turn into a, a bad player. You see more and more of those guys transferring um, throughout the country uh, as, you, as you look at things. But we're, we're uh, just impressed with the, the group of student athletes we have in. You know, we, we've got 18 of them signed today. Uh, there, there'll be a few more here probably in February. Um, you know, it was drama free. You know, the 18 that we thought for the last two weeks that would sign, signed. Um, I should say 17 of the you know, 17 of the 18 we knew uh, would sign uh, Liam uh, Dick. We you know kind of knew about I don't know. I guess Saturday we knew uh, he wanted to keep it quiet and make his announcement. You know down in Mexico City. So um, but we we've known that one and, and trusted his commitment uh, to us a few days ago. Um, so you know just impressed with those guys. Uh, when you look at the class overall, you know we uh, a very versatile group. Uh, we've got eight, eight guys on offense, ten on defense, and, and those things could you know could go either way. I think the and I think I tell you guys this every year, you know, we've got three different groups you know that we kind of work with. You know, we have run groups like this. You know, at times we lift in these different groups and train uh, with Coach Andrews in different groups. But we have a power group, which is our big guys, our O linemen and our D linemen. You know, we signed a total of seven of those. Okay, just seven big guys that we think are going to develop into being uh, you know linemen for us. Okay. Um, but eight on offense, ten on defense. We signed uh, uh, big skill, five of them, and I put the quarterback in big skill. If he was a you know a, you know zone read dual threat quarterback, I'd put him in the skill category. Uh, but because he's a pro style quarterback, I put him in the big skill. But you know five of those, you know, and you know when you talk tight ends and linebackers, and then we signed six skills. So you know a great variety. You know we're not overloaded in one or the other. Um, and I think anytime you've got big athletes that can run. And you've got you know power that can run and, and, and are going to develop in our weight room. I think uh, you've got a great class. Um, Sixteen of the signees came from six different states. Uh, I'll mention those. We got four from PA. We got five from Florida. Two from New Jersey. Two from Maryland. Two from South Carolina. We've got some inroads down there now. We've got one from out in Long Island, New York, and then we got two from out of the country in Canada. Uh, two individuals that came to camp, and I'll talk about those guys a little bit uh, later. But two guys that came into camp. And really have played a lot of, um, you know, a lot of football in America. Okay, uh, it's not like they were going to be foreign. Uh, you know, I've recruited and coached players that came straight out of Canada, uh, and you feel even better with these guys because they played in Canada, developed in Canada, but then played a ton of games, you know, in in the United States, whether it be in Florida or really in the Midwest. So, um, so I think you know we're happy that when you look at those 18 guys, 17 of them were captains. Okay, 17 out of the 18 were captains. So. Um, I think anytime you think about the, the character, and again, I, I sure hope in high school, you know, your best players aren't always captains, um, because it's it, it takes more than just a good player that can run and catch and, and, and lay a block on somebody. But we've got a bunch of captains. Um, you know, we got uh, six state champions. You know, one Whitfield champion. If you look at that, Vince Davis was a champion. Will Gibson, obviously, a uh, Whitfield champion. Uh, Kalaja Kansi, champion with his teammate Leslie. Uh, Smith, Nate Temple down in South Carolina, and then, and then Kai Wright as well. So we've got some champions, guys that know how to win football games, and uh, are excited about that. Um, you know, as I say every year, there's just so many people to thank because uh, this is not an easy process. You know, just think about the recruiting process overall. You know, the, the media, Twitter, social media, 
all that stuff has made you know the game of uh, recruiting a lot harder. And I, you know, I can't tell you how impressed I am with our staff and how we do our business. Okay, um, because you know, like I said, we don't. You know, we talked about this I think in the past. We don't recruit stars. We recruit football players and character. And I think you know, character always wins. Um, but you know, it's our. You know, it starts with our recruiting staff. And I know Graham is up there. And Graham will be available afterwards uh, to speak with the media. Yes, sir, Graham. Yes, you are. Uh, we'll put Graham, you know, <clears throat> former quarterback on the spot up there. The rest of our staff, you know, won't be available today because they're busy uh, watching today's practice. And I thought that was probably more important uh, than, than bringing them in here at this time. We'll be able to get them in February when we, we regather together like we always do. Um, but, you know, our recruiting staff and everybody in that office does an incredible job. I think, you know, it's, it's uh, those hours they spend in there watching tape, evaluating tape, you know, watching every senior game of these kids. I mean, you know, they're watching the entire game. You know, sometimes as coaches, time-wise, we're watching, you know, a 50, you know, 60 play highlight tape, but they're going through verifying everything that we saw during the season or during, you know, camp or whatever it may be. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're evaluating them every day and, and really, you know, uh, talking to guidance counselors. I mean, there's a lot of that stuff goes on in that office. Back in the old days, shoot, you know, most of my years at Michigan State, you know, it was me doing most of that. We didn't have a recruiting office built like this. You know, we did it all ourselves. I mean, I had to be in touch with the guidance counselor. So uh, I got to thank, you know, Graham and his entire staff, you know, Reed Case, um, for what they do up there. Like, um, and again, you know, I've been a lot of places, you know, never have I had, you know, an AD so determined to come speak to our student athletes, you know, every Friday night, okay? And she's unbelievable. Um, you know, she speaks from the heart. She's just, she, she does an incredible job. So we thank her, Mark Harding and the entire faculty. Uh, you know, Mark does a great job. Again, has a presentation every Saturday. And, and you know, through my years here, guys, we can say we're probably about 75% hit. If we get a guy on campus, okay, we're 75% win. Okay, and that's a pretty good uh, number as far as getting, you know, three out of four when they get on this campus. And, and obviously sometimes there's guys that we can't take um, that, that add into that um, where you have to say, you know, sorry, you know, we, we filled up, uh, which we know that happens at that position. So, um, but they, you know, they, they do a great job. You know, our faculty comes to breakfast with us on Saturday mornings and uh, sits down. And I can't, you know, I can't tell you how many, you know, kids after business say, Coach, my meeting on Saturday morning with, you know, Bill Valente was incredible. I mean, just that's how impressive the academics are here. And so I, I thank all of our faculty there. Um, I, you know, I thank our football team. Um, they take, you know, they take nights of Friday and Saturday night out of their, out of their lives to spend it with, you know, their future teammates and getting to know those kids and who they are. Um, and, you know, we're always asking our kids, hey, what do you think? Do you like them? Does it fit in with us? Those are all things that go into our decision making. Um, thank our, you know, Mike Farabaugh and our academic staff uh, for what they do. Penny, uh, Samaya, and, and our uh, life skills. I mean, you know, two you know, major things that we sell here at Pitt. I mean, some people are going to sell Heinz Field or sell this or that. I mean, we're going to sell our academics because, you know, in the end, that's what they've got to do is come here to get a degree. And that's something they're going to take with them uh, for the rest of their life. So that, that's been unbelievable. You know, our coaching staff, you know, for hitting the road, spending time away from their families. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a rough, you know, it's a rough two weeks this year. Last year was three weeks. Briefly on, on uh, just what our coaches have done on the road in a short time. Um, you know, last summer, you know, was the uh, first opportunity to have a summer visit. You know, we had one major weekend in June, which, you know, um, you know, at, at times we thought maybe should we have this, should we not? Sometimes when you bring guys in June, you know, come December, they forget who you are. They forget they even had a visit to Pitt. Um, so you kind of debated whether you want to bring anybody in in June. Uh, but I can guarantee you this, we'll be bringing people, you know, to the city of Pittsburgh in June from now on. Uh, we had an incredible weekend uh, for whatever reason. And getting our staff and, and coaches in the city of Pittsburgh is, is a showcase, I think. Um, but it was, it was incredible. And, you know, had you known, I guess I knew because I made that, you know, that statement we were going to the championship game in Charlotte, I guess. But had I really known that, um, you know, that we were going to be in that game, it would have been imperative to, to, you know, for sure have a June visit because we had really two weeks on the road recruiting. You know, I got into 14 homes of guys that are on our list, so I didn't get into everybody's home yet. Um, you know, you, you, you kind of picked and choose who you needed to get into right away. Um, so, you know, have not been to everybody's home. Uh, we actually have some kids that still haven't officially visited here. They've been here on campus, they've seen Pitt, they know, I mean, our own official visits are very darn near like a, uh, an official visit, except we can't pay for their food, we can't put them up overnight. Okay, so with some of these kids, that'll continue to happen as we go. So 
Um, and then lastly, I want to thank our, our, you know, our, our class, that they had trust in who we were. Um, and I know, you know, early in the year from my recruiting office, I know, you know, you know we were struggling at one point and uh, not winning a lot of games and, and, you know, and social media kicks in and like, you know, are you sticking with, who's staying, you know, all that baloney, which, you know, I really appreciate um, you guys taking, you know, taking polls on who's staying and who's not. Um, but I thank those guys for sticking with us through the hard times. And that's what you want guys, you know, are going to fight and, and they're loyal to who you are. Uh, you know, they, they committed to the University of Pittsburgh. And for the most part, you know, we held on to everybody in a, you know, you know, volatile, you know, recruiting um, atmosphere out there. And, and, you know, I'll just leave it at that. Um, so there's, you know, so we had two weeks on the road. We just, you know, we just kept looking and looking and looking. And, you know, the one thing in this, in this really in the Western Pennsylvania, and I can say really the whole state of Pennsylvania is, um, you know, my message out there is we're, we go slow. You know, we're not, I am not gonna offer guys early in this area and try to pull out on them. I just don't want to do it. And so we're always gonna take our time in this area because, um, you know, too often it happens, you know, you, where you, you know, people offer kids and then all of a sudden they back up and all of a sudden you never hear from them again. That's not gonna happen here. Uh, or at least we sure hope it's not gonna happen. You know, sometimes uh, things happen, but we, we wanna offer those guys and we want them. And, and Will was a guy that would continue to study. I took a I believe a Friday night, watch them at home uh, in the pit, right? What's it called out there? Pit. The pit. Um, and we went to the pit and watched the game there. And I'll tell you what, you know, I was there watching a couple of players, and, and that guy caught my eye. I was like, that guy right there uh, is, is one of the best players on this on this field, period. That was that was what sold, you know, sold me on Will. It was he's a football player, man, he runs, uh, he tracks down the football, he'll go get it, and I think he's a big time wideout for us. The next guy